What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. We are going to do one of the picture videos where I take a look at some of the pictures y'all have sent me. We're going to do it a little bit differently this time, I'll explain it here in a minute, but uh, y'all really seemed to like the last one and wanted another one and I'm finally getting around to it. So like I just said, this one's going to be a little bit different than the last time we did this. So we'll take a look at the links that y'all submitted. Uh, we'll comment on them, show off anything interesting about them, and then we'll go to that person's favorites page on their profile, and we'll see what they found interesting, and then we'll take a look at that bust, and then we'll go to that person's profile and look at their favorites and just kind of go uh, repeat the cycle, and we'll do that a couple different times with a couple different links, and hopefully we're going to find some uh, pretty interesting things by doing this. Hopefully you understood the concept there. If not, then you'll see the concept here in a minute. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the links. So the first one we're taking a look at comes from Bus93. This is the very first link that I have in my uh, form over here that I have not taken a look at. So otherwise, we just have some pretty standard looking CEs, uh, Virginia spec. So we're not going to see any logos above the door. I'm not sure if you can make it out, but... Uh, there's definitely not one right there. Otherwise, you can see the bus on the left is a handy bus. You can see it is a little bit shorter. Uh, again, you might be able to make it out through the uh, windshield right here. Pretty basic looking specs on this bus. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, it looks like all incandescent, the crossing guard. It also appears that we have an LED strobing stop sign. So there's a little bit of an upgrade. But yeah, overall... Uh, I, I think this is a really good picture. I actually already had this one favorited uh, when I initially opened it up. So, yeah. All right, and now we're on Bus 93's favorites. We'll just, I'm not going to look. We'll just click on that link. And what do we have here? This is from Bus Lover 333 Joe, of course. Let's see, there are three Wayne Internationals right there. The description says that there's a 95 4700 flatbed two 94 3800 wanes and a 92 3800 so the two buses on the left are going to be the 94s the one on the right is going to be the 92 you can tell that based off of the older style cross view mirrors one thing i like about the two on the left is the addition of air horns uh that's always just a really nice touch to you know have on there bus 19 in the middle looks like it's in the best condition i wish i could see that with a white roof i think that would have looked a lot sharper there and it looks like one of the warning lights on bus 24, the passenger side amber light, might be a strobing incandescent light, it looks like. Or maybe that could also just be very faded. I'm not exactly sure, but that's just what it looks like. All right, we're going to take a look at whatever this picture is. Let's see, this is from Those Guys 119. This is a Thomas FS65 from New York. You can see pretty basic New York specs right here. According to the description, it is a 2005 FS65. First off, one of my favorite specs is on this bus. Uh, we got the stripes on the bumper. That's something my district growing up did, and I fell in love with it. Uh, I like that paired with the crossing gate, but I don't like how the crossing gate kind of covers part of it up uh over on the left i'm also not a huge fan of the numbering on the hood especially when it kind of bends over uh to like the the front part i think that kind of looks a little bit odd and a little bit off but you know it's first student and this could just be the angle of the picture but it almost appears that the strobe light is in the middle of the bus instead of like you know further back i don't know i think that's just the angle though all right and this one what's this one Let's see, Town Bus Photography, again, another first student bus. This appears to be a, well, I mean, this is a CE. Again, pretty basic New York spec bus here with the yellow roof. We got that specific style of school bus sign, uh, the crossing gate. Uh, nothing really standing out here. Of course, we like to see the C2 there, but immediately ruined by first student yet again. All right, let's see. We're going to click on that picture. What do we have here? Ooh, that's kind of sharp, actually. According to the description, this is a 2021 Bluebird All-American T3RE, and this is, this is pretty sharp right here. First off, this is obviously not a school bus, but I'm wondering why they did add the eight warning lights on there, because... 
there, there's a couple things here. First off, you can see the bike rack up front. I mean, that that's a pretty clear indication that this would not be used as a school bus. Uh, but we also have dual doors on there, it appears. You can kind of make out uh, the second one in the back there. But we also have uh, no school bus sign. We have an LED panel right there that would be used for the university to type in whatever they want to type in. This is definitely one of the better colors that I've seen on an activity bus. I I really like this a lot. All right, we will go and look at this one right here. What do we have here? Yet again, another New York EFX this time. First off, I like the addition of the dual stop signs on there. Always great. It appears that this bus is all LED, including those stop signs. You can also see that there is a camera above the uh, window behind the emergency exit right there. And it also appears that there is a stop sign camera right in front of that door. Compared to all the other New York buses that we've been looking at, I'm surprised that this one does not have a crossing gate. You know, nothing wrong with that, but uh, I think that probably would have completed the look. I think that's just the only thing missing here. And yeah. All right, we are back on Bus Driver 71's page, so we'll take a look at another link that y'all submitted here in a second. First off, uh, I am not a fan of no warning light covers on this bus, especially because with the new uh, warning light panels that really make it kind of stick into the bus instead of the warning light sticking out a little bit. Uh, I don't think that looks right at all. I'm I'm just a fan of warning light covers in general. I think that belongs on 90% of buses, but this is not the 10% that it does not belong on right here. We can also see the blue, blue bird, uh, meaning that this is a gas bus, uh, appears to be all LED and a pretty sharp bus, again, with the exception of the lack of warning light covers. And surprise, we're back in New York. Uh, this link comes from Jeep in. We're taking a look at a 2014 T3 FE, uh, again with the warning light covers, I, I think this bus really would look better with this. Uh, and I'm also not a fan of Blackout, which I think there's a decent, uh, there's not a lot of black on this bus, but it could certainly, you know, have more and I think that would make it look better. Uh, I've just never been a fan of Blackout. One thing I do like about this bus is we have the LED light above the door so that whenever the door opens, that will turn on. So uh, just kind of an extra added safety measure you don't see too often. And we also love to see the addition of the streamer, even if it's not a full Bluebird streamer anymore. Uh, always great to see that half stream there. <laughs> and can another New York bus. Are we, are we going to get out of New York in this video? This is a Thomas Minnow tour, and it's seen better days. You can see that there is a lot of rust right under the wheelchair lift, and it also appears that there is a good amount of rust under the emergency exit. I just looked it up, and we are taking a look at a 2008 uh, Ford Minnow tour, which I've always personally preferred Ford Minnow tours, especially in this era, to be uh on the buses i just i think it looks better and you don't see uh the fords as often as you do the chevys or at least uh, i don't one thing i wish i could change is the red turn signals i've never been a fan of those i think it just looks outdated so i wish i could change that but otherwise like i said this bus has seen better days but still not bad all right we'll look at hopefully not a new york bus what do we have Okay, an Ohio bus, finally, something different, but uh, this one is uh, getting parted out, as you can see. According to the description, it's a 2010, coming from Dublin City Schools. Uh, we can see that one of the headlights is removed, and the grill, I'm sure that uh, stuff from inside the bus is being torn out, and you can kind of see a little bit in there uh, that it looks like some stuff is just kind of thrown in the bus, so no big surprise there. I love the addition of the fender turn signals on here. I think the only thing I would like to see is a white roof on here, but otherwise not a bad looking bus here. Well, maybe with the exception if it had more parts, but <laughs> what do we have here? Ah, from Adam, of course. All right, this is Lebanon City Schools uh, from one of Adam's recent trips up to Lebanon. 
As you can see, this is bus number 20. I believe it's a 2023 CE, but yeah, it's, it's not too bad looking. I don't have much to say about this. Uh, you know, any brand new school bus, no matter what it is, uh, is going to look sharp. You can see that this bus is in excellent condition. Um, and it's just, I mean, come on, we're school bus enthusiasts. Who doesn't like a brand new school bus? All right, we're going to look at this one right here, which is a Bluebird Freightliner. Ironic that a Bluebird Freightliner, or that we came from a Bluebird Freightliner from Adam. So this bus originally came from Arkansas, and uh, it's, it's definitely seen better days. I love the full streamer on this bus. Um, I think that the black behind the warning light covers and the warning light visors really fit this bus well. And this is one of the exceptions to me where I think a yellow roof could be acceptable on a post-2000 bus. I think uh, that it just kind of all fits together well here. So I would be really interested to see what this bus looked like when it was brand new or when it was in service even 10 years ago. But yeah. All right, we are going to take a look at whatever that bus is. Well, that's not a bus. I'll try again here, and hopefully this is a bus. That's still not a bus. Third time's a charm, right? Uh, is this a bus? It is a bus. This is a Thomas EFX from Indiana. Love the addition of under storage on here. Uh, the airfoil, I think, would, it's probably a nice thing to have up there in Indiana. Uh, looks really great all led you can also see there appears to be a stop sign camera on the bus and there we go i i think this is a good looking bus all right we are gonna look at whatever this is and we're back on adam so we'll start a new link here in a minute so uh we are taking a look at wayne county schools icre and I was just saying a minute ago with the uh, yellow roof exceptions unfortunately this is not one of those buses this does th this needs a white roof otherwise i think this looks pretty sharp uh with the turn signals up front i love the addition of aero turn signals instead of the standard turn signals i've always been a big fan of aero turn signals and especially on the front i don't think you see that as often as you do just normal turn signals so whenever i do see those i usually pretty quickly like the bus Another thing I like about this bus is the black headlight bezels. That really makes the bus look sharp. Uh, we can also see that the IC logo is kind of faded. And it looks like in the back there is an older International or Amtran FE. Again, with the arrow turn signals. All right, and the last link was submitted by John back in New York <laughs> again um so let's take a look at this interesting find right here this is a 2004 bluebird 3800 a couple interesting things here first off the middle mounted wheelchair lift but even more interesting than that is the under storage right underneath that it's it's something you see here and there i i'm not sure how i feel about it because it's it's interesting but it's also just I, I feel like everything could have been placed a little bit better, but I'm not the one making these decisions. Otherwise, we got the full streamer on the bus. Uh, looks to be a little bit rusted kind of over the back wheel well, um, and maybe a little bit under the wheelchair lift as well. But, you know, New York, and especially it being 18 years old at this point. Um, but, yeah, kind of a, a an odd find here with that wheelchair lift and under storage combo. All right, we will take a look at whatever this picture is right here. Um, again, more New York. We're taking a look at another FS65. Uh, first thing that really strikes me, I like the low skirting on here, uh, paired with the addition of dual stop signs. And unlike the FS65 we were taking a look at earlier, this one has yellow warning light covers. I believe the other one had black warning light covers, if I could be mistaken, but uh, I think that kind of fits better um, just because of the blackout, but that's just me. And again, this strobe almost seems to be more center of the bus than kind of mid-rear, but it could just be the angle again. All right, uh, there's not much to choose here, so this one, um, absolutely gorgeous. 
Wayne Lifestar right here. One thing I'm not sure how I feel about is the rounded turn signals above the headlights because those weren't really meant to be there. It's kind of an addition, but the smaller turn signals below, you know, are pretty thin and small, so I can understand the need to, or, or the want to put those bigger ones on there, but it just... It, it, it looks a little bit odd. Another kind of interesting thing about this bus, it's not unusual or uncommon, but this is a Wayne that has warning light covers. Um, you know, you, you see them, uh, Waynes that have warning light covers, but I think that this just works really well. The kind of almost boxed off, but not entirely. It's like a box, but rounded or rounded box. Uh, fits really well with those dual warning light covers. And might I say, uh, the doors on this bus look huge, but probably just the angle. All right, and I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and end it there. So let me know if you liked this style of the picture videos. Uh, I still don't know what to call this. Uh, but if you like this, let me know. Or if you like the other format where I just take a look at links that all oh, y'all submit me, um, you know, let me know in the comments. Also, just let me know. Did you have a favorite bus, uh, favorite picture that I showed off uh, in this video? Throw it in the comments. Let's talk about it. Don't forget that if you have something you want to submit for lots of lots, bust up for sale, or the picture videos like these, uh, throw it in the video request form in the description of any one of my videos. I'm always going to take a look at it, and it might just get featured. Anyways, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's magical right button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down here, where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, or we're never going to be able to find any pictures ever again. And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care, don't let anything happen to you. So yeah guys, that's going to do it for this video, and thanks for watching.